Hello, thrifty thrifters. What is going on? Thank you so much for joining me. It's Christy Z from Zeal Studio and Zeal Vintage on Etsy. Welcome back to my channel. I have got a super exciting haul in store. First of all, thank you so much for joining me. Um, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you want to see some more thrifting or also I like to do craft videos. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Alrighty, let's get down on this sweet ass vintage thrift haul. So, um, first of all, just disregard what I look like because I was thrifting all morning and it was raining and I was freezing. So I've got my Eagle hoodie, which is just like super sweet and comfy. And I like to go kind of low key when I'm thrifting. So this was perfect. And I actually picked this up. I think I picked it up um, actually at a bong, bong shop um, where I was buying incense because hi. Um, and he gave me a really good deal. I think he gave me like $10 off or something. So anywho, hence the hoodie because I'm just back from thrifting and Super, super sweet, mega haul, super excited. First of all, I have to show you this box. I cannot even tell you this box is like probably the most vintage I've ever purchased at one time, possibly. Um, it's huge, I think it weighs 40 pounds, it's right here. I'm just gonna give you a little shot of this box here. Um, right there, hello. I cannot lift it into the shot because I bought so much vintage today, it was 75% off day. So of course I'm going to go crazy. And it was so fun. It was actually really quiet in there for a sale day. So, and I found a little bit of everything on my list. Um, like I said, it was 75% off. So hello, I was there for 75% off. So, I figure since I have to open it and like sort it and wash it anyways first, um, what I would do is like go through this haul and show you what I got. I think I spent just over $100, like $101. And a lot of the items were like 50%, 75% off. I found some really like sweet, amazing, make me want to gag vintage. I actually ripped a dress, not ripped, I scooched a dress, <laughs> a little nicer way to put it, off of a mannequin on my way to the cashier. And so I have to, like, I feel kind of bad because <laughs> there is a naked mannequin there right now saying like, hello, but you know what? I wanted that dress. And it didn't even have a price, so I think I told him I had, like, oh, how about $15? It was such a beautiful dress from the 70s. I cannot wait to see it. So let's get to this haul with no further ado. And let's open this ginormous box of vintage, and I'll show you what I got. Okay, so yeah, this thing probably weighs, like, ooh, and I see something that's stuck. Oh my God. And I see the first thing that I found right on the top. Amazing. Like, so cute. Okay. So can you see right here what I am seeing? Which was like the first thing I found in the purse area. So cute. All right. Let's dig into this box. And I'm going to show you what I got um, for my last thrift haul for fall. I literally only filmed like a teeny tiny little bit, but I did get some really sweet stuff. So let's dig into this box and I'll show you what I got. Oh my God, so exciting. Sweet, okay, first off, check out this Mondrian print, Joseph Ribkoff vintage purse. Now, if you know art and stuff, you will recognize the design on this as the Mondrian print, which was a huge, modern style print. Uh, Mondrian was like very prominent in the night. Just little Mondrian clutch. I was so stoked. I was like drooling as soon as I saw it. Um, and it does have like a little tiny bit of dirt here, but that's something I think I can just easily wipe off with some 
soap and water. Um, I think it was like $3. And it's just like the cutest little clutch. And yeah, so I was super, super excited to find that. So cute. Oh my God, there's my eagle. I just love this hoodie. I know it's so like um, kind of ghetto fabulous, but that's kind of the mood I was in today when I was thrifting. So that was the first score, ding, ding, ding. And I was really loving that. Okay, and more accessories. I did find a vintage hockey night in Canada um, beanie toque. And again, I'm not really a huge sports fan, but whenever I find something sporty, I always grab it for my shop because my guys and my sporty girls love the NHL and hockey stuff. This is kind of a more vintage hockey night in Canada beanie. Um, and I would say this is probably, I don't know, it looks almost like 80s or 90s. I'll just have to check out which year this particular design was, but that was a super good score. I think their hats are like one or two dollars. Um, okay. Sorry, I just have to find somewhere to put this stuff. Um, let's see. All right, I'll just put it on the floor. That's fine. Um, okay, what else? Oh my God, this was so good. Oh yes, all right, in the games department. Um, you know, I try and look for, I don't really buy like glass and, you know, tchotchkes and knickknacks because I'm just not a knickknacky kind of gal. I don't like dusting. I have enough, you know, housework to do. I don't need to have to dust a bunch of knickknacks. Although I did get one breakable, so I should be careful because I don't know where it is. Um, but it's more like arty. So, oh my God. I love, 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 love the show Friends. And this is from 19, uh, or actually this is 2002, um, post Y2K. And it's a trivia game in a metal tin, Friends Trivia. And it did say that they checked it and everything is there except the instructions, which I'm sure I could print offline. And, oh my God, I, you don't even know. I just, like, I love Friends so, 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 so much. I still watch the show. Um, it's just so comforting and, like, funny and classic 90s, so... A thousand questions about your favorite friends, two or more players, ages 10 and up. So cute, 2002, um, post Y2K friends. And even though I'm probably tempted to keep this, I will probably pop this in my shop because I know my fellow friends lovers <laughs> will probably love this as well. So when I spotted that, um, I snagged that up super quick and yeah. I was so excited to see that. Um, I've been looking for a Friends t-shirt for the longest time and I still have not found one. So I was really, really, really happy to find that. Totally good score. Super sweet. Okay, and what I'm gonna do with um, the clothes, now I will have to sort everything and wash it. And then if I get a chance, I'll do a little try on and show you how stuff looks. Although some stuff that is for my shop, maybe not my size, because here's the thing. Not everybody that shops in my shop is my size, obviously. So I do buy some other size items so that, you know, I have a good size range in my shop. Obviously, I want lots of mediums, larges, extra larges, and smalls. Sometimes I keep the smalls for me, <laughs> sometimes I don't. Sometimes it's like one for me, one for my shop, one for me, one for my shop. Um, okay, oh my god, I did find some really good high-waisted uh, 90s denim because I have been looking for, you know, things are trending more to the high waist and I can totally appreciate that. Um, as someone who has a 90s belly button piercing, it's not always comfortable to have the low rise or the mid rise because they do cut right like where the piercing is. So I did find some denim. There's several pairs of denim here. I love how they've organized this box with all the denim. Okay. So these are a, and I've never heard of this brand, they're kind of stretchy, James Jeans, uh, made in the USA. Okay, I'll have to look more about this brand because I don't really know, but these were so cute. These like totally high-waisted, 
um, straight leg skinny type of jeans. And you can tell by the bum how high waisted they are. And by the crotch. And they have this cute, just like minor distressing on the butt. Um, but if these fit me, I might keep them because I'm still, I think I only have one pair of high waisted jeans. So I was looking for more for fall. So I love the waist on this. And I'm pretty sure, I should put, just put a tank top on. I'm pretty sure they are like very high waisted. So ding, ding, ding. And I think their pants are like $2 or something. Something like that, somewhere around $2. So super not expensive, super good value. I've never heard of this brand though. They did have a pair of Seven for All Mankind jeans. They were quite a lot bigger. I should have just got them um, for my shop, but I will also have to look into this brand because I'm not super familiar with the James jeans. Um, okay, made in the USA. Anything made in the USA, you know it's gonna be good. The tags look 90s to me. So super rise, skinny, James jeans sample. Made in USA. I've like never heard of this brand, but I love the super high waist, which you never see in a skinny jean. So that is really different. Uh, I was super stoked to find those. And I'm totally gonna have to try those on for you, show you how they fit. just saying there was a pair of jeans there which are very expensive these were two dollars and they're 155 dollar jeans and they're not in my size so they will be for my shop because everybody deserves a good deal so these were seven for all mankind um they're sort of a straight leg called the kimmy jean which is a slightly higher rise. I would say that's like a mid rise. Hard to tell though. This almost might be my size, but, and they have more of a straight slash, as opposed to a skinny leg, more of a straight leg. Um, now I just bought a skirt last time that I went thrifting that was seven for all mankind. And I couldn't believe how how much they were worth. So I'm gonna have to look up these jeans and see, but I'm gonna imagine they are probably $150 jeans, um, which is kind of interesting. Um, those are really wicked, like a really wicked brand. Um, if you don't know Seven for All Mankind, like I wasn't super familiar, and then when I went on their website, like yeah, their stuff is not inexpensive. So that was an awesome score. Um, those will probably hit my shop. Now I have been looking for patchwork stuff. Um, I think last time I did get a patchwork dress. This time I got this super cute patchwork style, almost quilted jacket, um, like a three quarter jacket. Um, it's kind of like a tapestry fabric. So this fabric is probably what would you, I would call it tapestry, and that's just because of the type of weaving that they do to make it. It's a thicker fabric, and this one's actually really soft. It's softer than your average tapestry jacket would be. So again, I'm gonna give these all a wash, and I will style it up and show you what I would pair this patchwork jacket, which is such a sweet, sweet vintage Bye. I've been on the hunt for a patchwork jacket forever and the colors in this are really beautiful. The pattern with the patchwork is gorge. I'm going to say this is probably early 80s. Yeah, sometime around early 80s possibly this was really, really popular, especially with this type of woven fabric. 
Um, I think it's made in India. Made in India. That's why it's so soft. Um, so beautiful, beautiful tapestry patchwork jacket. Um, I think their jackets were less than $5. So again, that was a really amazing score. <laughs> So this is a full length uh, Saint Saint Jillian by Kay Unger. super soft and almost see-through um, so again this is not in my size I can try it on um, it sort of has like a little tank underneath and then this layering part over top and it also has like a matching belt yay I love it when they have the matching belt which you could wear as a necktie or um, I probably style it as a necktie actually but I love, this is actually my favorite color in the entire world, is this teal color or turquoise. And so you will see a lot of this color today. Um, it's kind of my signature color. It's something I always look for. So again, try to find 70s dresses that are legit. It's kind of getting harder and harder. And that's the one thing I do like about this place that I go is I do tend to find a lot more genuine pieces for my shop. Um, I'm particularly into the 70s, so I always look for like 70s and 90s. Um, I had a lot of 90s in my own wardrobe because I actually lived through the 90s. <laughs> I know I'm aging myself, right? Okay, but yeah, so 70s are like when I see 70s, like my heart, I get really, my heart starts beating and I'm like, oh my God, I gotta get it. I gotta get it. I need it. All right, I know. So that was a really good find. Um, their dresses again are generally under $5. I don't know because um, the tags are color coded and I don't have the color cody thing. So I don't like know how much each piece was. For this entire box which probably has like 40 pieces it was like 101 dollars so good deal okay speaking of 70s i did find these genuine 70s clogs they're in amazing shape they're fire clogs um with the little square heel i'm surprised like the inside is in such good condition and you can see like the nails into the wood um, I think these are a size eight and I'm a six and a half. So I'm just going to show you. So the seventies clogs, the really good ones and this brand, first of all, the bottoms are generally wood. So this is like all wood. And then it has these, um, nail head studs that actually attach the leather and the super cute little buckle. Now I'm assuming these are. 70s because of the construction and the style looks super genuine 
If they're not, then they're possibly a... Sounds like a 70s brand. And again, this style with the buckle and the wooden, um, the wooden bottoms on them and the little square heels, very indicative of um, what we wore in the 70s. I remember having a pair of clogs in the 70s. That's how old I am. <laughs> I actually remember that. Um, but so that was a really good score and sandals were 50% off today. Almost everything like was discounted in one way or another. Oh my God, speaking of denim. So I bought a lot of denim today and I don't generally, and these are for me, um, these high-waisted flowy button-up denims. And these are Nevada jeans. And they are, I'm pretty sure they are like late 90s by the feel of the fabric or Y2K. And they're like a high waisted sort of button up jean. Here goes my little bit of box over. Oh my God, all the vintage. Um, and if I can just, so it has pockets in the front super high-waisted with the buttons and then it's almost like a softer denim and it comes down into a flared borderline bell bottom but again with the high waist so I have one pair of high-waisted bell bottoms I was kind of looking for another pair for more day-to-day and these actually look like they would totally fit me and be the right length so I'm gonna try these on and we'll see if they fit. I hope they fit. And again, I think their pants are like $2. It's ridiculous. Like. seen this brand before, Jera. kids brown because I've never seen this brown before but I just thought they'd be so cute with a tank top just for scooting around and like the whole rainbow it's like pride here right now my super pride rainbow running around shorts um and actually now that the sun is out I'm starting to like whew, <laughs> I might just need to slip a tank top on because I'm getting a little hot in the sun so these were super cute um Again, I'm not super sporty, but I'm always looking for shorts, whether for me or my shop. I don't have a lot of shorts in my shop. So I have to do a little research on this brand, find out a little more. These were super cute, um, in a really early American Eagle Outfitters, these tiny little patchwork shorts, which kind of remind me of the 70s, but they are so freaking cute. They're so my size, and oh my god, these were so freaking cute. for 
patchwork. There we go. I don't know what it is about patchwork this season, but it is like super big. Okay, sorry, I'm gonna have to change. Because <laughs> I'm just like, ooh, too hot. Just throw a tank top on, two minutes. Okay, this is an item I just picked up to go with some other stuff that I picked up for myself. It's this little tiny faux sort of 90s dress via blue notes. Um, just like this little mini dress. I thought it was a skirt, but it's actually a dress. And I just love the length. I really like the length and I really like the sort of rusty color with the um, floral vibe. Super cute. Um, I'm going to say this is like early-ish 2000s or even more recent. It does have really nice straps on it though. Um, so I thought that would go really cute. Actually, I was going to get an orange sweater with it, but I didn't end up getting it. Um, but I love the like floral, romantic, sort of 90s vibe. I would layer this with a cardigan or a blazer and some tights in the winter with some boots, maybe some combat boots. Um, but yeah, I'll totally wash this and give it a try and we'll see how it looks. But um, yeah, so yeah, sometimes when I shop, I will just pick up a couple things for myself. <laughs> Like, this one's for me. Especially when it's a super small size, because I'm really petite, so then I just keep my eyes out for the We have some other 90s stuff. Ooh, this is actually 80s though. Let's go right to the 80s. This is a Laura Ashley Complete Guide to Home Decorating, uh, which I picked up in the book section. And if you don't know Laura Ashley, she um, designed the floral dresses that were actually kind of like this for the 80s and 90s. And they're very popular in the 80s and there's a scene in Sex and the City where Carrie says, oh, well, I saw a Lori, a Laura Ashley dress hanging in my circa 1985 um, that I hadn't thrown out. But she talks about like how we keep dresses we'd never wear, but we throw away ex-boyfriends. So um, little SATC Laura Ashley reference. Um, and I do love vintage books. So this is an 80s decorating and design book, which I picked up. Um, I do pretty well with books, um, although they are, I do tend to like bigger coffee table books and vintage design books, vintage art books, stuff like that, and they are a bit heavy. Um, so, you know, I do generally, you know, sometimes the shipping with something heavier is not the best, but yeah, it just kind of is what it is. So that was super cute. I was so stoked to find that. And then I have a couple, oh, 70s dress. Um, so another turquoise 70s dress. This one is a maxi. And it's a Venus original. And it's a total, total maxi moment. Here, I'm gonna have to move my chair to show you. Oh my God. Total maxi dress moment, full on 70s polyester maxi. However, the polyester is super soft. Like normally with polyester, it's quite thick and not comfy. Um, this is probably later 70s once they, um, you know, had moved further ahead with the technology because the fabric is quite soft more so into the like disco um disco fabric which was a little bit softer and so this would have been this would have been like a late 70s sort of dealy um, which i think would be perfect for fall for layering with stuff or you know a formal occasion it has this super cute bow right in the middle and again the color it's 
so pretty pretty oh my god like this is totally my favorite color ever and it has a zipper down back and I love the color I love 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 I, I'm always so 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 um, like it just makes my heart happy when I find stuff from the 70s because again like that's my favorite era and I know like every V oh my shirt is looking really weird all right let's fix that sort of together um, so speaking of 90s I did find some cool um, 90s rayon dresses that would be great for layering um, I love the print on this for some reason it's like a bohemian print but and this is Periscope which was a really popular brand in the 90s this is fabric made in Italy so it's Italian fabric and it's a 90s oh gosh okay. I need to back up so you can see this it's like a 90s maxi dress um, with this sort of almost like a gold starburst sort of not quite a paisley print but it has like this black and gray and then it has this tie in the back where you can tie it uh, which is great for multi-sizing another 90s um, this is a 90s maxi skirt and the fabric is made in Italy it says and it's kind of like a little wrap skirt again this is not in my size but I can try it on for you so it's a little wrap skirt and it kind of buttons again it's very Phoebe buffet so it's got like this wrap and then it like buttons around and I don't know if you can even see all of that. There we go. But I will try it on and show you what it looks like once everything is washed. But super cute and it has like a very minimalist detail except down at the bottom. And again, very Phoebe Buffet Bohemian 90s sort of skirt and this fabric is beautiful like it does say made in Italy um, I can tell by the tags it's Dumonde Petite it's an Italian brand in a petite size which is still too big for me so that will have to go in my shop but still awesome awesome super sweet uh, especially do you notice like I'm doing a lot of black with um, sort of camel accents and that sort of color because I love to blend black with other neutrals as well. I think it's a really, for fall, it's a really good look. Okay, let's get back in here. Okay, this next one is for moi and it's so silly, super, super silly. All right, so any, this next item just for me because I started taking Muay Thai and kickboxing about a year ago and then I stopped because they closed during the pandemic and oddly enough I just drove by the new dojo today because my dojo moved and I think that was 
a sign from the universe saying, girl, you need to get your ass back in MMA class. And so was this, this neon yellow cat shirt that says Meow Tai. And he's got his little boxing fucking gloves on. So fucking cute. I've never seen a cat martial arts shirt before. Um, so yeah, I think this would make the cutest little tank. I might just prop it off here under the cat. And yeah, so cute. I think if I cropped it, it would be way better though. But I love the neon yellow. I don't know if it's vintage or not. Neon American Apparel. I don't think American Apparel is vintage, but you know what? It's all good. I think it was a dollar and it's for me, so it's all good. Need my meow tie shirt. <laughs> all right, back to the vintage. We've got some vintage, um, I was gonna say Cosby sweaters, but not quite Cosby sweaters. Um, more like, uh, vintage 70s sweaters. Um, this one's definitely more to the 70s. It's a really heavy vintage wool sweater with these um, buttons. I can't read what it says on the button. Something, something. Sears? Is it maybe Sears? Oh my god, I, I need to like put glass. Hi, put some glasses on, hey? But I love this pattern. Oh crap, it looks like it's missing a button. Shoot, I just noticed it's missing the first button. But that's okay. Um, it's this heavy sort of winter, sort of Icelandic cardigan. Like a very granny chic cardigan. Um, it's super, super thick. I love, I love the color. I love the pattern. I did not notice it was missing a button. Always check that, um, but that's fine. It still has all the rest of the buttons. Anyways, I just love this pattern. Perfect for fall, perfect for winter. Um, it's almost heavy enough to be like a jacket. So that was amazing vintage score. I would definitely say that's from like early 80s or late 70s. It looks more like early 80s. Um, okay, speaking of knits, so I did find this knit fringe, I don't even know what brand, let's see, Peter Nygaard, ooh. <laughs> Nygaard's not doing so good right now, but that's okay. We're just gonna recycle these clothes. And so it's a kind of a mini dress with fringe and sort of a turtleneck mini with fringe, which is quite different. I just really love the fringe. We have a few more things. Okay, speaking of 90s, I just have to be careful because there is a breakable in here. And I'm not sure where they put it. I'm assuming it's, oh, it's wrapped in a tank top. Okay, never mind. <clears throat> speaking of 90s, so I found this wet seal 90s it is a velvet off the shoulder if i can show you the print so it's like a velvet paisley and it's like off the shoulder super soft velvet i thought this looks so good because it's red and black um the print and it's like the softest softest velvet um again very like Friends, 90s type vibe, velvet for fall. I love that it's got the stretchy neck where you can wear it off the shoulder or one shoulder. Super versatile. You could just layer that with jeans or a black skirt or black pants. Um, that will probably end up in my shop. And okay, what else? Ooh, we have some 80s button downs. Again, in my favorite color. So why don't I just grab the hanger? I can probably see better like that. So this is very much Eaton's attitude. So this is probably, I'd say late 80s, early 90s. Button down. I know I say button weird, button. 
Um, I just, again, love, love, love turquoise, and I love the turquoise and green and purple in here. I think this would be super, super cute just with a tank top and some denim shorts or a denim skirt. Um, you could layer it like that. Okay, there's like kids playing outside. Just ignore them. <laughs> totally ignore them. All right, I'm like, I'm not hearing you children. Oh my God, check this hat out. This is so cute. Like I love hats and I almost got this like Mexican um, hat that I tried on last time. I think it was in one of my other videos. It was still there. Oh my God, but I found this super cute knitted turquoise with silver beret. It's very like, late 80s early 90s so cute and it will totally go with like a lot of the actually what do you think go with that color um a lot of the turquoise that i just picked up as well um i love me a good mary tyler Mo mary tyler moore moment um it's giving me like very clueless very mary tyler moore and i adore turquoise. Adore it. It's like totally my favorite color. So, soups excited for that. Okay, and just a few more things. Oh, I see more denim too. So this 90s maxi, um, which is Bali Batik. So this is a hand batik item. And it's again in my favorite color. I'm going to have to stand back so you can like see it. Okay. Ba Bam. So this totally flowy, like 90s, I'm pretty sure Phoebe Buffay actually wore this in some of her scenes. Um, like an A-line maxi 90s turquoise with this batik design and some hand beading on it, which is really pretty. And it's really cute because it has a zipper, but it also has these stretchy panels on the side here to accommodate different sizes like right on each side. So again, this isn't really my size, but I will still wash it and try it on for you and show you like how I would style it. It's so flowy and like romantic. And I just love the batik. So batik is a, I think it's a wax resist technique where they apply the dye and then resist it off or they put wax on it first and then they dye it and that's how they I think they get the designs I may be wrong um, but I did used to dye fabric and I've never done batik but it's a very 70s style um, in fact this almost looks more 70s um, I'm gonna say this is either late 70s or early 90s one of the two but super stoked, again, so my favorite color. Um, the print on it is gorgeous. And it's just so flowy and beautiful. I love that I found so many dresses today because... I've actually been not finding that many vintage dresses, which is why I went a little crazy. But I'm here for it and I'm liking it. And we're almost at the end of the box, so, <laughs> which is good because I'm starving. I gotta go get some dinner on. Um, okay, don't laugh, but this next thing I bought for me, because I was just like, it's so ridiculous that I have to buy it. Also, it feels really itchy. I'm not gonna lie but it was super cute and like it's see-through with black trim. Oh my God, how fucking cute is that? I will not be trying this item on for you. <laughs> Just FYI, because 
obviously, hello. But how cute is that? And it has, it's like this flocking, it has lace. And then it has this like velvet um, flowers that are flocked. Like I'm totally getting a Dita Von Teese moment with this. And I'm just really obsessed with this right now. Although obviously not gonna be able to try that on for you, but. <laughs> I think it's like a super sexy moment. I'm really excited about that. It doesn't even have a tag on it, so I have no idea who made it, what brand it is. I don't know, but yeah, yeah, super sexy moment. Everyone needs one. Yes, now, <laughs> from sexy to, I saw this last time and it was still there, so I grabbed it. And I'm gonna crop it off and make a crop shirt out of it because I thought it was hilarious. Don't laugh, this is your girlfriend's shirt, right? So I think this would make a great crop moment. I'm just gonna crop the sleeves off and crop it right underneath here. And voila, super cute. Again, I think that was like a dollar maybe. Okay, and I think we're almost at the bottom. Oh, the best is at the bottom though. Oh yes. Okay, so cardigans. Now there were a couple a couple blazers that I did not pick up, but I did pick up this lovely oatmeal, super soft, oversized, sort of like um I call it like a babysitter cardigan. Like it's very you know, it's really soft though. A lot of times these type of knits are itchy. I like the itchy ones. I like the itchy. So, um, I always go for the softer ones. Now I did find an orange one like this and I did not get it and I'm kind of kicking myself. But I kind of like this oatmeal color better. Um, and I've been looking for an oversized cardigan to just layer with different jeans or to layer over a dress. Um, for example, like this, I would probably layer this oversized cardigan in the winter over this um, with some tights and I'll try that on for you and show you how I would style that um, because the colors are very much sort of in the same palette there. So I think those would work really nicely together. And yeah, I think everyone needs a super comfy oversized Mr. Rogers cardigan um, not necessarily Cosby sweater, which are also back. I don't know why, but they're back. Um, but yeah, just more so like a uni, university cardi, or, you know, something to layer over jeans or jean shorts, that type of thing. And then, ooh, more denim. Oh my God, there's, I got so much denim. Holy cow. Oh my God, look how bad my hair is. Uh, just disregard my hair right now. <laughs> because I just like washed it and I have not even had time to style it. Okay, these were so freaking cute. I've never heard of this brand only because it's a passion. And they're like super high-waisted, stretchy, skinny jeans, which I've never heard of this brand before. So, but the fact that they were like so high waisted and super tight and skinny, yes ma'am, I was, I was, you know, I was down with that. So I have never heard of this brand, only. Hmm. It doesn't look vintage though. First of all, because they didn't do a lot of printing like this. Um, anytime you see stuff printed on the fabric as opposed to a tag, generally a newer garment, but you know what? If these are high-waisted skinny jeans and they fit me and they were um, the yellow tag, I think they were $2, so yay. My denim wardrobe is going to be massive. <laughs> and also for my shop too, because I like to bring a lot of denim. There's, you will see in my shop a lot of denim. Okay, these are Eddie Bauer. Um, again, a high-waisted, sort of wide leg, kind of, these are definitely weird, but I just wanted to make jean shorts out of these, so I just bought these to cut into jean shorts for um, 
So I didn't, mind you, oops, mind you, I don't know. I kind of like the wide leg. Anywho, these may end up in jean shorts. I'm not sure. I kind of like the wide leg. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to cut them and I just totally knocked over my pile, but it's all good. Okay, I think we have like four more things and that's it, which is good because I'm getting hangry. <laughs> Anyone else? Does shopping make you hangry? Okay. So these pants, I think they're pajamas. I'm not even sure. I'm pretty sure they were hanging in the pajama section, but they're made of like this really super soft um, polyester sort of material. The sewing in them is not great. I don't see a brand, but they're just like a flowy sort of polyester pajama pant. And I just thought I could rock them with like a tank and maybe a, um, cause they kind of have a wider leg and I don't know. I just thought they were, I don't know, different. Like I love the color and the material is this really thick, stretchy type of polyester. Um, I don't know. I just thought they would be cute with like a t-shirt and maybe a cardigan or something like that. Super comfy. They had a couple different ones like this and I was really tempted to buy them all. Honestly, I think they're old lady pajamas and I don't even care. I will wear them out. And I will show you how I would style these. Um, probably with a little crop top, some chunky shoes, and we'll have to see how that goes. All right. But they actually have like three different patterns. I probably should have bought all of them just because they're super, they look so comfy with this stretchy waistband. And yeah, I think they're pajama bottoms, but I don't even care. Um, they're thick enough you can wear them outside. Like the fabric is definitely thick. It's stretchy. Definitely different than something I would normally buy. So I'm trying to like step out of my box. And speaking of tank tops, I did get a couple tank tops for me because you can never have enough tank tops. Oh, and there's my breakable. <laughs> my breakable is like all wrapped in there. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ooh. You got a hair in your mouth and you're trying not to touch it. All right, here's the one breakable that I bought, um, which is this kind of really cool native handmade sort of sculpture dealy like a hanging plate. I just loved the native figure. Um, it doesn't really have any markings. It looks like someone hand inserted. Like it very much to me looks handmade. I think it was $2 or something, but I'm gonna have to do some research. And while I don't like um, tchotchkes, I definitely love um, anything that has like a native quality to it or like all these little masks on the side they seem to be like symbolic of something and also like what he's carrying there you can see someone it's very cool looking art um, and as you know an artist myself I whenever I see something like interesting like that totally snag it up um, even if it was just for my private collection I thought that was really cool and then, yeah, I just got a couple of um, tank tops, just super, super basic because I actually can never get enough tank tops. This one's Jacob and it's so soft and it has this cute little ruffle um, and adjustable straps. I think these were a dollar, so I grabbed that. And then I grabbed this one, which has a bra liner in it, which is kind of nice because like I'm I kind of need it, otherwise I'm like, you yeah, know. So this one has the bra liner, body blue, which I don't know much about, but I just thought for like with jean shorts and whatever, that would be super cute. I like that it has the built-in bra. And again, for a dollar, you know, nothing to sneeze at. Okay, but this last item. So remember when I said I ripped a dress or took a dress <laughs> off a mannequin? It was this dress and it is so so gorgeous. I'm so in love with it. I'm totally obsessed with it. It was there last time I went thrifting and 
I didn't ask them about it, so this time I just grabbed it right off the mannequin. I took it up with all my stuff and I was like, could I give you $15 for this dress? And they were like, okay, so check this out. Like, bam, straight up from the 70s. Um, this beautiful, beautiful, and it's a lady colony made in Canada. Lady Colony by Parkway, straight up the 60s and 70s. This gorgeous, gorgeous vintage dress. It's complete full length. I don't even know if I can get it all on camera. Um, and it has these gorgeous um, bell sleeves. It has this beautiful, beautiful pattern on it. Um, of course, it's a traditional and it actually has these like leaf and bohemian pattern on it with these sort of um, sort of like an Asian closure. It has the zipper in the back and the keyhole in the front. And I can't wait to try this on and show you. This is so beautiful. Like the sleeves are just like killing me right now. Like these sleeves, so killer. Um, I wish I could just like try it on right now. I would definitely need heels or to shorten it because it's a little long for me. But this is just beautiful. And when I think of like vintage shopping, this is what I think of like, especially again with the 70s. I'm so in love with the 70s. And that was it. That was my awesome massive haul. I totally hope you like this video. Please make sure you hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see some more thrifting, some more DIYs or upcycles, some more crafts. And yeah, this was like the find of the day, this total early 70s dress with these beautiful, beautiful bell sleeves. And I love the lavender trim on it too. So it sort of has a different color inside that shows on the outside. So pretty. So stoked about that. So thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you coming along and checking out my major thrift haul for fall. I was so excited. I think this was probably my favorite haul of all. And I'm not trying to be Dr. Seuss. But yeah, totally excited. I'm loving, loving this. And I just noticed in the sun, it's like totally different colors. So it's purple over here and like green and blue on the outside. So pretty oh my gosh okay I'm gonna hang all this actually I'm gonna have to wash all this so yeah thank you again for joining me and if you want to hit up my vintage shop you will find some of my vintage finds in my shop at zealvintage.etsy.com and if you want to hit up my studio shop on Etsy it's zealstudio.etsy.com thanks again all right happy vintage shopping and have a great weekend. I hope you enjoyed this giant vintage haul.